All right, hello, hello, Virgos. Virgos, this is a monthly message for the month of March. Okay, so I'm gonna start with uh, different other zodiac signs. And please keep in mind, you can also have a rising sign or moon sign in Virgo, and you can also check your rising and moon signs for this monthly message. Okay, so when I bring up other zodiac signs, it's to give clarification, whether it's in your chart or you're dealing with them. And this is the whole month, right? Okay, so it really started with quite a bit of Taurus energy. And in particular, uh, Virgos, I saw end of August Virgos, 829 uh, in specific. Um, there's also Aries energy, 410, um, 321, 322, 324, Piscean energy, of course, right? 301, 302, 303, 304, and then 315. Okay, um, those were just different dates and signs I saw. And maybe um, that is those days in March, the very beginning of it, even. <laughs> okay, um... I know that I really wanted to bring up the fairy stuff seemed to jump into yours. So we'll see if I pull some fairy because this is for my Piscean, uh, Alice in Wonderland, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Um, <laughs> in this down the rabbit hole. So a little topsy turvy. We've had some wordplay. I brought on the daily crystals too. I don't know. Remember your worth, rhodochrosite, rhodochrosite, rose, oh, okay, but I know that, hmm, we'll see, I've been kind of doing it a little differently, I just see how I'm guided with certain things, um, I just, you know, did the Leo one, and I'm seeing I left courage is here, so maybe there is some Leo in some of your charts as well. Courage is not simply one of the virtues, but the form of every virtue at its testing point. And that was pulled for Leo for their month. Um, and sometimes I'll get a little snippet out of the books. But it's been interesting. I've been pulling words. Okay, words on this little black thing. Well, this little black magnetic thing. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get uh, alchemy for you. They seem to take a while. I'll just see. what. So let's start with some words. Hideous. That is hideous. <laughs> Just makes me think of that that State Farm. <laughs> the State Farm commercial. Who are you talking to? Oh, and it's like there's a sense of waking up really early in the morning or, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, like this commercial when she's like, I'm talking to Jake from State Farm. What's he wearing? <laughs> she, he sounds hideous. Whatever. I don't know why I'm saying that. Actually, but actually, okay, hideous, actually, garden, okay, garden, y'all, no way, so, y'all, this makes me think of Texas, y'all, y'all come back around now, you hear, steer, oh, I'm, I'm, interesting enough, because I said Texas, I'm seeing, like, the big horn steers, you know, like, giant, the steer or steering something uh a wreck today oh watch out that could be a warning it is so today as i am doing this okay uh it is the 24th 24 224 so i am in piscean energy but like i said this is for march so whenever you get it hmm uh, that's that's a warning being careful steer make sure you sure you steer wow okay here's a couple more where mister mister hmm where mister so got some masculine call call today y'all today call acid hmm okay i'm gonna get you some charms these are weird virgos all right some charms for the virgos for march only little two what is this i don't know what the 
Oh, it's a tiny little tree. Maybe steer clear of the tree. Look at this tiny little tree with all the gold and this is cute. I don't remember seeing this charm before. No way, and then St. Patty's Day. Wow, so you guys are like the first sign to actually get something that's talking about, uh, that has the four leaf clover here. So good luck, good luck. Maybe that's a day to watch out even. Let's get a couple more charms. Do the Virgos, what's this one? Oh my gosh, double good luck. You got a white four leaf clover. This one has a stem on it. Oh, I guess that does too. Two four leaf clovers. Okay, so there is good luck. Maybe it is really about being careful on on the 17th, you know, of March. And that is St. Patrick's Day. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to bring the camera down because I am going to jump into some tarot before I go into anything else, really. Um... So I, this is just a standard Rider weight, the classic, but with the holographic, I've, I've been enjoying starting with this. So understanding what we see in the symbology of tarot derives in large measure from our own intuum and once revealed reflects back upon each of us to further enrich our lives. I might also read a little bit out of the different little books. Uh, I do have some different crystals in play this month working with the black and white um, chrysanthemum stone, black kyanite, and the sodalite. That's this deep blue and white. But I'm going to set these other crystals. Maybe I will pull some crystals for you guys. Hmm. We'll see how long. They've been getting kind of long. I know I really wanted to bring in the Hidden Worlds and Lucy Cavendish. So I remember, I remember specifically, uh, <laughs> bringing this in and actually, um, I almost said Libra, but actually, Virgo, only Piscean have gotten any of the Fairy Oracle and the Hidden Worlds. These are both by Lucy Cavendish and the Fairy Whisper. So I might leave these out here for you. But this gets a little long and I have three different... I really haven't been getting into this Wonderland Tarot too much. We'll just see. All right, so, wow. Well, I'm going to look under the deck, and I have shuffled all these. Oh, I forgot. I brought in petrified wood. I totally forgot. I don't even know why. Over here on this tarot, I don't know why I'm taking the center one first. I just like it because it's all sparkly. <laughs> okay, wait. So, a decision being made. Okay, so I'm taking this action at a crossroads even. Um... But I'm seeing it being like doing it like the final step, like making the decision um, and taking a different course, a different direction even. So, wow. Uh, two, six on 20, the 26th even. I'm also seeing someone feeling very like they're not, um, they're feeling very unvictorious. Um, maybe and that's the whole thing. Feeling like a wreck even or a mess, you know? You know, that's hmm, or the garden. Interesting. I mean your last word was acid. That was so uh <laughs> Virgos. Pisces. Okay, that's what the cards say. So okay. I like shuffling these ones. They have a nice. Anyways, you got two clovers, so that is pretty exciting. And the tree. Maybe this also has to do with your family tree. So 317 Pisces. Maybe even two different um, people in your life that are part of your ancestry or your family. Or you're going to find some four-leaf clovers, like, around some tree. I mean, you got the garden. Interesting. Okay, underneath there, I see there's been fighting and competing even. Maybe there's someone, this could be physical, like really actually battling each other. Hmm. Queen of Cups. Okay, so that could be Pisces energy, right? Feminine though with this could be um, Cancer Scorpionic and maybe a little Cancer. I don't really sense the Scorpionic so much. I feel like someone maybe you've been fighting or competing with them. 
feeling like that or you could like i said you could have cancer scorpio pisces as your main uh sun sign or something or this could be on a rising sign for you as well or this is what you're doing in the beginning of the month okay all right so i'm gonna move these out of the way here and make space so for the virgos for the first first uh almost said first half but the first week or so of march what's the main messages we have someone juggling no, this is holding on. <laughs> Look, this is holding on to the money. This is being, this is stingy, really holding on tightly to something. Okay. Holding, holding finances. Whoa, you got a lot. Will of Fortune in reverse. It's not the right timing, even. Uh, whoa, the lovers there. Something is the divine timing. There could be a karmic thing. And I'm also seeing it being at, um, Mm, someone's on uh, they're have on a down cycle i feel like if you're in your finances regarding things like this it's uh in the beginning it's really holding on to saving money um because there's a down cycle maybe there's a bit of a loss during this time 10 6 106 but someone's trying to move on whoa towards the lovers Okay, I'm ha Will of Fortune in reverse here and moving forward towards the lovers. So lovers is usually the Gemini energy, but it, regardless, it's towards someone you love. This is, a, this is definitely romantic. Someone even holding on, saving money. Page of Swords. Look at that stocking and spying. This was hidden, even. This was so hidden. I flipped this one over. Hmm. This one's holding on to something. Stocking, spying, looking in. Hmm. These ones, too. And then I'm going to... Wow. Justice. Okay, so this is Libra energy. But maybe this is some karmic stuff, right? With There could be legal stuff, even. But justice upright. Um, so be aware that maybe they're looking in. Um, this is, you know, they want things to be fair. And maybe this this whole thing. I, I did see like juggling finances of where to put money. But maybe there is legal stuff. Okay. Nine of Wands in reverse. This is nice though. This is finally feeling like you are protected. This is... Someone is looking in, right, to make to see if things are fair regarding maybe because justice is wanting things to be completely fair and equal and balanced, um, regardless, uh, it's of the facts. Um, and this is that Chiron energy and someone moving forward. Let's see, nine, wow, nine, eight, nine, nine. Moving on out of like a rocky time, you know, like uh, some tough words or decisions. This is moving forward towards like even with the lover and no longer feeling wounded. This is this is good. Six, nine. So maybe there is a little Gemini. No way. That looks like the same card. Six, six. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. OK. <laughs> King of Swords. Oh, boy. So, we've got a little air sign here. King of Swords in reverse, though. Mm, this is someone who might be very, um, very rude with their communication, untactful. And the, this, these words are very rude. Like, it's, it's cutting. It's untactful. Queen of Wands. Oh, wow. This couple here is being very... <laughs> We're going to find out who this couple here is. So I don't know where you play into this, Virgos, but the masculine energy and the feminine are both wrong in this situation. They're upside down in something. Usually, so I'm just saying, so this Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, feminine, and this King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I'm really, so for the most part, I'm pulling in Gemini and Libra. 
but it came right there with that. So take it how it resonates for you guys. But I'm just saying them it's being, there could be some deception with it even when they're upside down like this. Both of these in their energy, there could be fighting. This could be happening. This could mean maybe in the second week or something, even of the month. Huh, we'll get clarification. Queen of Wands in reverse, sometimes there's two different scenarios. She's using her, her power, her wands, uh, to dominate, to be tyrant, or even to be lustful. It's to gain attention, to try and get the tension back so she can have some power. She feels like they've lost power. And they have two, and this is where, you know when someone, when you're maybe, when there's an argument... Um, and it gets so heated that people just start cursing and cussing and saying horrible things. Call, like, you know what I mean? Let's see you next Tuesday. Eh. Oh, it's someone from your family. There's a lot of unhappiness. They've, and, and I'm saying that these people could be part of your family. Um. Hmm. There's a lot, they, they feel very unsupported by family. There, there's like, this is empty. It might have at one time been a happy family, but something going on with that. Ten of Cups. Judgment. Whoa. Judgment is like a wake up call. Having a, a realization. This is someone wanting a second chance, but not taking the action. Maybe there's been a judgment call and there is no passion. There's no, you know, if we're talking couples, this this is someone not taking any action. Hold, so, so I'm saying you or them, right? Holding on, stalking, maybe spying, waiting for an opportunity to have the second chance. Um, there is no passion, like no action being taken here. And maybe that's even the thing. Don't take the action. There's bad memories. This is from your childhood or in a sixth house energy. Uh, why I say sixth house? You're the sixth house. Oh, okay. But this is immature and young. There was nothing. Maybe there was nothing. Okay. Going on with this. Doing what's right and fair is like not doing anything. And letting it play out. Six of Cups is also showing, in reverse, is showing me that all of this stuff, there's maybe even some PTSD. Um, this could have happened in the past. Or these people, I'm saying it, they are from your childhood. Or there's a past life. And all of this unhappiness. 610. I'm pulling a lot of Gemini. Interesting. 62. This is bad memories um, or creating this. This is cutting words. Um, PTSD with someone. Someone feels very stuck in their head. So even this Queen of Wands, someone from your family, there's so much, they're unhappy. They feel very unloved by people in their family. Mm. Stuck in their head to make a decision about even apologizing this is even children there could be children involved or you could be a child with this they want to apologize this is being understanding um it's not necessarily apologizing but you know when okay if you have children or if not vice versa when you are a child if if one of your parents or siblings or family member is upset or something is it's a very innocent, not truly understanding the circumstances of the ordeal, but still trying to be understanding. And I'm seeing this also Piscean child, possibly. Not, see, someone didn't take the action. I, I'm seeing this as even being very innocent with this, trying to have get a second chance, a judgment call, a wake-up call. Seriously, I woke up so early to do this, which is weird. And I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> Last time this happened, it was, it was like a cancer sign maybe. But three of cups is in reverse. So three, one, I'm saying. And nine of cups is upright, which is interesting. 
Okay, so this is not being part, not taking action, not being part of like a get together, a celebration, a reunion, even if it has to do with a party. Um, and justice is there, <laughs> wanting things to be fair and balanced. Maybe there you you shouldn't see each other. There's some weird karmic thing. Someone's on a down cycle, is what I'm saying. They're very, they feel like they've got to hoard money, be stingy even. Um, part of this wish fulfillment, what would bring this wish fulfillment? So nine of cups upright is at least moving towards something that this could be sometimes overindulging, but this is right before that. And this is, this is good. And I'm seeing it moving forward, no longer feeling wounded even, um, by immature, uh, actions because you got the pages, a lot of pages and pages, the youngest, uh, you, the page of swords, you got all these pages. There's so many children or it's very immature. Um, hmm. The emperor in reverse. Oh my. This could be about your father, your husband, the boss, or you could be this. Cause we got the king of swords in reverse emperor in reverse. Um, being rude and cutting, and maybe, oh my, for some of you, I'm saying this is maybe even you or them, right? Or this could be in current time, but um, a father or a boss. So whether this be like your boss, even a grandfather, but the father energy uh, in reverse, being very rude, cutting, even demeaning to children. Oh my, and yeah, a ten of swords reverse. And this is an ending. A bit, they feel, you or them felt betrayed. They've like betrayed even the family. 10 to 10. Oh my. This is insane. And the, the soulmate in reverse. I, I So I've got to call it how I'm seeing this Pisces. Why am I saying Pisces? Okay. Virgos. Um, I'm kind of seeing that. Hmm. there could be legal issues because justice is upright. So whatever's going to happen is fair. It, it is for the highest good of all. Even if there, if this is someone reaping what they've sown. Um, and it's saying the right thing to do is even not celebrating this, not, not going to this party because there's, there is, bad memories of stuff and it's but it's over because ten of swords is it's done and i think this these thoughts these memories these things that happen and if it comes in during the aries energy because emperor is also aries taurus okay and that's uh because i'm seeing it as we shift i'm seeing you maybe something from your childhood or from your past kind of coming back around maybe a recurring thing or just this it's done because ten of swords is in in reverse also means that it's time to heal from this um and someone's trying to make a decision about this because the soulmate all oh, the soulmate and ace of cups two one one two i'm saying two two huh ten two it's in reverse right here and the ace of cups someone feels like there isn't any love in their home, the 11, one, four, the cancer sign even, and feeling like they're going to move. They're gonna, this is moving house, even taking a trip. This is someone not feeling this love. It's very, even the children or something. Huh, no one's holding on to even maybe these emotions. This home, so maybe even there's a party, like even at your own home or a celebration. Um, but I'm also seeing like it, someone not going to it. Uh, maybe you have to travel, traveling even a new car or a trip. Because there is this movement here even. Six, nine. No way, and seven. Nine, seven. Moving forward. So look, not so you're not feeling like stuck in your head with this communication and people backstabbing and bullshitting. 
5175. Wow, and very heartbreaking. 5-3. See, someone still feels very heartbroken over this. And this is where, and this is where even the cursing, the cussing. So sometimes this is, you know, instead of being so upset, there this is part of an ego thing, or I mean, mm, sad. Someone is heartbroken. I feel like this is, oh, I almost don't want to <laughs> upload this for you, but you know, please keep in mind, don't create this. This is, and when I do the videos, it, it it's oftentimes for those who are in the need of it, right? At the, um, so we're going to find out more. This is being patient, taking things slow. I'm, I'm actually seeing there's Taurus energy that actually might be this, a heartbroken person, potentially, or you, Virgo. I'm also seeing, because I see 5'3". Uh, five, 5'10". Five, so taking things very slow. Wow. Yeah, there's your card too. Um, And even going inside a hermit that... Hermit, hermit is all. This is your card, but you know, and this is like receiving, receiving enlightenment and kind of detaching and getting away from everyone else and their thoughts and their opinions. <clears throat> wow. But someone feels because really in um, victorious, like they feel like they've look at his head is down. The hermit has one wand, so there's definitely taking action with it you know, the walking stick, but, um, it's off on, it's like, he's off on this little lonely journey, um, trying to seek some enlightenment, maybe even this is looking in, stalking, spying, it's regarding even your house, maybe there's something regarding juggling finances or paying stuff for it, I'm seeing six, seven, uh, seven, two, the fool. So someone's been juggling on how to, about a trip, a car, movement, uh, feeling, wanting to take a leap of faith into something new. Uh, but there is not, um, there's no money. This is, it's a waiting period. I'm seeing this as a waiting period for you. Waiting for everything to be fair, that you can the give and take with the finances can be equal. Three, three, six. So, especially even in the beginning, releasing anything toxic, releasing the devil, anything trying to control things, or any type of addiction, bondage, Capricorn. But it's left someone feeling a little stuck, not knowing how to move forward. So trusting intuition, high priestess. This is also Piscean, Virgo, Libra. I see eight two. So maybe even some Leo with it. Hanged man, no way. You get high priestess and hanged man. This and hermit. So a lot of your cards pulling now. Trying to once again see a different perspective of this. Someone could have got stuck or caught. This is also trusting your intuition. Even though things are not being completely like spoken this is also keeping things a little bit of a secret which is it, it is a necessary thing the world is in reverse and will of fortune so i'm also seeing that this is not completed but we're almost at the end of the chapter here the world and i'm just seeing people it, it, uh, not being able feeling like you're unable to collaborate and work with others on this completion because this to complete this Okay, that's interesting. Uh, <laughs> whoa. I Seriously, I kind of almost don't even want to <laughs> upload this because, you know. But once again, remember your worth. Okay, because the crystal card here, Rotocrosite, remember your worth. I feel like I'm going to get you crystals. Um, this is Heather Askenosis, Daily Crystal. Crystal inspiration. Uh, what do we have for the Virgos? Wow. This is quite a message. I was like, hmm. Maybe, oh. Oh, I mean, I there was the wreck. 
and maybe this has something to do with a car or a trip, you know. Um, hmm. It's the wrong timing. So the biggest thing that I see, Virgo, the biggest message is that it is a time of waiting, even saving up for things um, for this lover, you know, or um, moving forward towards someone you love or you consider a lover. Oh, wow, Jade, be the bigger person. Be the bigger person. Hmm. And create your own luck, Avertine. A lot of greens now. Whew. Okay, let's see. Let's get some crystals for the Virgos for the month of March. Crystal Cola. Now, start fresh. Wow, this is, a yeah, starting very fresh. And this is also communication. It's earthy and watery green and blue. Okay. And then amethyst, the purple, clearing your head and trusting your intuition. I mean, with the Wheel of Fortune reverse, I'm just seeing it usually is like the timing's off or there is some faded karmic thing or someone's in a down cycle. Um, but you have justice right there. It's, you know, it, it's a cycle of life. And reaping what you sow. This is also, wow, about finances. Let the money flow in and protect your energy. Black tourmaline and pyrite. Hmm. So, there is some fool's gold with that too. So, maybe some Aries energy. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Wow. Lapidolite and black tourmaline. Yeah. So, protecting your energy is saying to go into hermit mode, even, you know, even. If you're a child or because you have judgment here and getting this awakening, a wake up call, wanting a second chance, but feeling very empty, like no love. Needing to learn how to fill your own cup, okay, and protect your energy. Lapita light even is with balancing your emotions, recalling your dreams. And I'm going to say this is like things. Things that you've put on the back burner. Your own dreams of what you want for your success in life. And remembering those. Um, maybe there was something in your dreams that woke you up. And bring in the light. Moving forward. So I do like for, as I see over here, right? Even though we have five of swords in reverse and six of swords upright. So five, six, six, five, whatever. Eleven, eleven. <laughs> but... Um, so this is getting out of this type of conversation, the back and forth. Um, and I'm also saying, because there's multiple people here with this and it is people that are in your family. I'm saying this is family drama or, um, people you like, you know what I mean? Ancestors, stuff from your childhood. There could be some past life stuff with it, but. Wow, this is interesting. Bring in the light. I'm even seeing with the fairies. Huh. Oh, goodness. All right, let's see. What else we have for the Virgos? Lapis Lazuli. Wow, so this is even the cousin to this soul to light. Make a decision. Making a decision. Right? And communicating it. And this is also about royalty and nobility. All right. And even juggling finances about a trip or a move or a cancer sign. Release your emotional baggage. So, so you might have been holding on to something regarding a move. Because we also, I also see over here someone feels very unvictorious about it. Like they don't feel like they have it. I don't know. There's... I feel like they've lost something and they just need to take off and leave even. The orange. Like an orange. Okay. And Amazonite, loosen your grip. So you'll be holding on to something or they are even. Holding on tightly. Hmm. One final. That's the six. Let's get one final crystal message. In the month of March. 
I'm clearing, uh, getting crystal clear on what it is you want. Clear quartz. Clearing away even these, this, this stuff. But I am seeing being patient and taking things very slow as well. Appetite is underneath there. Get out of your comfort zone. This is even trying something new. Getting out of the comfort bubble. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to set those off to the side. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm all, I don't even know. Let's get this petrified wood. All right. Okay. Let's get grounded with this wood. There's opal in it too. You were the first sign I brought that out. And you have the tree, which is interesting. It usually to me pulls in some Aries energy, but that's the earth too. King of wands. Okay. So no way guys. So, <laughs> All right, let's move on. Let's move on, okay? So especially if you're dealing with fire signs, okay? Or you are, are a fire sign, because look, I got the fool here. Maybe very specific. And maybe this is when we get into that uh, shift for fire energy. Like I said, uh, Aries. So 321, 322, you know, as we shift over there. Uh, and a new beginning. But look, he's like, all right. This is the fool and then the king of wands. So... And he kind of looks foolish, like a, kind of a clown. He's balancing things, trying to put on a show, a little Leo with this. Um, so it could be in your in your chart as well, and, or you're dealing with fire sign masculine. Um, I also see, no way, yeah, so someone strength. Someone, someone feels like they do not have the strength. Sometimes strength is overcoming like fear, right? Or um, holding yourself back from doing certain things. Whoa, they don't have the strength. You got three of cups in reverse again. So I am seeing that someone just doesn't have the strength to go to this party or hold themselves back even. You know what I'm, or what am I saying? If they go, oh, okay. If they go to the party, they might not be able to hold themselves back. I'm, I'm seeing about celebrating. Maybe even it's about drinking. I don't know about partying. So we're not having the strength. That's what I open it up to. Okay, I'm going to set this full card. Yeah, maybe even not having the finances or not not bringing a gift. Like if it's a birthday party or something. Not having, uh, not giving, not receiving some type of financial thing. Maybe they feel very foolish. Average. They feel even average. Oh. Okay, oh, you are them. Okay, keep that in mind. Okay, I see the Knight of Pentacles once again. So this is taking things very slow. Virgo, this could even be your card. Or I, I usually pull this as Taurus. But um, a little being very patient. I'm seeing it in reverse. Meaning there is some impatience and someone kind of wants to rush things Maybe it would be sloppy. This is taking your time. Okay, this one, these ones over here, releasing your emotional baggage. Oh, wow, regarding a Taurus and the Empress and the Page of Wands. You got the Page of Wands in reverse twice, even. This is about a child or when very immature fire energy. Maybe you have a fire sign child. The Empress in reverse, the mother. And the Hierophant. So we've also got Taurus. You see 3, 5, and 5, 3. I'm seeing that someone broke a vow or a commitment. They weren't committed. When the Hierophant is in reverse, they were not committed to something. That This is, you know, Cheshire Cat here should give some guidance. Which way? And he also tells you that the Queen is the only one, you know. Every way is the queen's way. And kind of... But it's that someone didn't... Some commitment or vow. And that's what I've got. And maybe it's a mother or a wife. Hmm. Page of Wands in reverse. So this is like stopping or... I'm seeing this as stopping... The action, but this is once again so many pages, so many uh, children. 
childish. Empress in reverse, meaning she feels like she's lost her power. She's no longer, maybe she's no longer a wife or uh, she doesn't, she's off her rocker. She's not taking care of business, not taking care of herself or the children. Five of Swords in Reverse, though, once again, so that's reiterated. There, this is also fighting with people and words and thoughts and and arguments and being done doing that. Yeah, being done, 5-2. It's a 2-5. The Cheshire Cat is the moon. Sagittarius moon. The moon. Oh, Virgo. Virgo, you just had a big full moon in your sign. To right at the end of February. Hmm. I'm seeing a decision being made though. These are both good. So this is getting out of feeling stuck in your head. Uh, no longer wanting to fight. This is an ending of it. Right? And getting your head clear. Protecting your energy. While we do have some Sagittarius. Feeling unbalanced. Overindulging. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is up now. Okay? Moving forward. Loosen your grip. Because there is this is about wow, you get 10 5 and 5 10. Interesting. Okay. Well, with this dynamic, we've got the will of fortune moving forward. There is still depression or regret over. Someone's really sad. There's sadness about something. Um, and taking action. Okay, I'm saying this now as we move forward. This could even be, you know, in that middle half of the month. Um, finally, the action is being taken. And giving. So, in the Four of Pentacles in reverse is showing now finally opening up and releasing. And letting certain things go. Releasing your baggage even. Whoa, Knight of Wands, <laughs> yeah. And taking this action. Even if, because sometimes this is a Leo uh, player energy, a lot of fire sign, right? You're King of Wands, so regards to who, take out how it resonates for you. Whoa, taking action quickly and bringing in even a gift. Maybe it is for like Aries birthday time. Six of Wands, I like, so we've, everything has shifted this now. A lot of the same cards are coming out, but now they're, they're upright, so receiving a gift coming in quickly. Maybe back in the day they're young. This is still very young energy. And then finally feeling like victorious, like like receiving something. You've got support. People will see people support and they will fight for you too. Like you have like this person has their little army behind them. There's support there. Five, six, one, six. And the four wants upright, six, four. Even regarding the home, the page of cups again, being loving, compassionate, the children, the cup, the Piscean, and the cancer sign, moving, moving, taking action. Nine of pentacles. I'm feeling like there's someone's not actually, like, they don't have extra finances. Um, the tower. Seven, nine, nine, seven. Mm. So a tower happened. Someone wasn't single even or financially stable. And, and there could have been a temper tantrum at the party or something like this. And someone feels very betrayed because you got the Ten of Swords as I move over there again. In reverse, the Hermit. But it's in reverse to so showing like it's a time of healing Maybe, I don't know, wow. There's a little scorpionic with it too. A 9, 10. Wow, we have, there's a lot of 9, 10 and 10, 9. Um, and maybe even feeling like, it's like someone leaves and it's like someone feels like they've lost hope and they've got to defend themselves and block and protect themselves even protecting queen of cups even protecting uh cancer sign scorpio pisces someone you work with someone at work 
um, and speaking the truth and getting clarity. Somebody you work well with, it's like you got to defend or protect somebody that you actually can collaborate and work really well with. Three, seven, even a Pisces. Yeah, okay, the Cancer, or, I'm sorry, the Cancer Pisces sign. And then you're receiving what for your work, the time, your effort. This is receiving from your investment. And, but being very patient with it. Once again, Knight of Pentacles. Finally having the strength to do some, to, to speak to justice. You know what I mean? Finally having the strength. Um, the justice card again. This one is a little different. See, someone is really scared of this, even this legal stuff or justice. The sun, no way. You got so much Leo coming through now. We got strength and the sun or shining light on this and Libra. Someone had been stalking or gossiping um, and telling someone else's secrets even or, um, oh, I'm seeing it. Someone's telling, see, you got, all right, as I look through here. I've got this page of swords in reverse, which shows me that someone is looking and stalking and spying, but they're then gossiping about people's stuff, telling their, there's, there's chatty gossip bullshit, but it's coming forth. Like it's, it's revealed what someone's true wishes are, what would bring them wish fulfillment, their happiness is that they don't want a second chance. Judgment in reverse is that like found guilty. The soulmate, like they don't want a second chance. They're done. They've done the healing and the resting. And the, I'm saying it is being done. Yeah. And trying to come out of loss. The emperor's up right now. The boss. The high priestess in reverse. So the, I'm seeing Pisces or Virgo or someone not trusting their intuition or actually telling, sharing someone else's personal business regarding their finances even. Oh, eh. uh. And being very unapologetic even um, as they're trying to come out of any financial stuff because that, you know what I mean? A downfall. King of Wands upright and King of Swords upright. This communication. So Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, masculines. Being a little impatient with things. <laughs> with children. Um, they still seem as... This is a soulmate. These two people are the soulmate. Yeah. And... Two, two, even knowing where to invest their time. And it's that, then, then's the right timing. It's like they understand the timing. Wow, I do like the, the devil card. So I've seen the devil twice. Okay, but it's been in reverse both times. So for me, that's always about letting go of control of toxic things, um, bondage, things get, try and control others, whether it be addiction or fear, uh, you know, dominating. Okay, that's what I got. What are we at on time? 48.16. This one gets intense. Like I said, I'm almost feeling like I don't even want to upload this because it got, but I'm going to put it out there. But please keep in mind, Virgos, if it's not for you, it's not for you, right? It's for somebody maybe fairly specific. There's several of reiterating the same messages, you know? Um, maybe you'll get a little snippet out of the book. Yeah, let's do Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and other stories. I'm opening up to 109 and 108. Do I look very pale? No way we have Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Oh, nonsense. Okay, Tweedledee. I was wondering when they were coming in. I see the carpenter and the oysters, the little oysters. I like the walrus best. So I'm actually seeing this pulling in a lot of Capricorn, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cap. Oh, David Bowie, how cute. The wool in the water. This is chapter four, 110 and 111. I've got a two figs to Tweedledee who had overheard the remark. I'm far worse off than you. 
Then you better not fight today, said Alice, thinking it a good opportunity to make peace. We must have a little bit of a fight, but I don't care about going on long, said Tweedledum. What's the time now? Tweedledee looked at his watch and said, half past four. All right, what do I add? <laughs> Let's fight till six and then have dinner, said Tweedledum. Very well, said other. the other said rather sadly, and she can watch us. Only you better not come very close, he added. I generally hit everything I can see when I get really excited. And I hit everything within reach, cried Tweedledum, whether I can see it or not. Alice laughed. You must hit the trees pretty often, I should think, she said. Tweedledum looked around for him with a satisfied smile. I don't suppose, he said, there'll be a tree left standing forever so far round by the time we've finished and all about a rattle, said Alice, still hoping to make them a little ashamed of fighting for such a trifle. Hmm, I wish the monstrous, monstrous crow would come, thought Alice. There's only one sword, you know, Tweedledum said to his brother, but you can have the umbrella. It's quite sharp. Only as we must begin, it's getting as dark as it can. And darker, said Tweedledee. It was getting dark so suddenly that Alice thought there must be a thunderstorm coming. What a thick black cloud that is, she said. And how fast it comes. Why, I do believe it's got wings. It's the crow, Tweedledum cried out in a shrill, <laughs> shrill voice of alarm. The two brothers took to their heels and were out of sight in a moment. Alice ran a little way into the wood and stopped under a large tree. It can never get at me here, she thought. It's far too large to squeeze itself in among the trees, but I wish it wouldn't flap its wings so. It makes quite a hurricane in the wood. Hmm, here's somebody's shawl being blown away. <coughs> okay, a battle. It's only a rattle. Hmm. Okay, I don't know what that was all about, Virgos, but that seems very specific. I just read the cards, tell you the message. Um, that's what I got. Wow, 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 wow. I'm not going to go to the other deck because it's getting long, but uh, look forward to some other videos. I'm, I'm going to pull the fairies and stuff for you um, later on in the month of March, so check my channel. I am doing this, like I said, in the end of February. Um... And then you can also look at the picket cards for further information. Thank you all so much, and I hope this has helped. Bye-bye.